Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and I'm here with a brand new tutorial on how to use the new Minecraft launcher in order to have multiple instances of Minecraft. Using this method, you should be able to set up a bunch of different instances for different servers you play on, specifically with mods. You can have some mods in one instance, other mods in another instance, different configs, different uh, texture packs, different sound packs, all that cool stuff that's part of the new Minecraft launcher. A lot of people seem to not know about this functionality, so I decided to do a video about exactly how you should use the new Minecraft launcher to have multiple instances, especially when using uh, uh, Minecraft Forge and some of the mods. So let's take a look at how this works. Okay, to get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is launch Minecraft. And you'll see that as soon as you do that, in your app data roaming folder, it's going to go ahead and create a dot Minecraft. Perfect. Once that's done, you can go ahead and log into Minecraft, which I'm going to do right now. Once your login is complete, you'll go ahead and see that a profile is automatically created with your player name. Perfect. You can also see that the .minecraft folder contains a few small things. Once you click play is when it actually downloads everything it needs from the Minecraft uh, website and it gets all kinds of different stuff for you. Great. Once you've logged into the game, you're pretty much set and ready to play vanilla Minecraft. However, I want to show you something with mods, so we want to install Forge. As you've seen in my Forge video in the past on how to install Forge for Minecraft 1.6, you want to download one of the installers and double click it. It's going to automatically default to your Forge, uh, your Forge install is going to automatically default to your uh, Minecraft install, so just click OK here. If you have installed it somewhere else, you'll have to browse out to that path. Once your install is complete, you'll see the successfully installed Forge message. Perfect. Now when we go ahead and launch Minecraft, we should see now that we have two instances, one for your vanilla instance and another for Forge. Simply choose the Forge one and go ahead and let it use the existing user that you're already logged into by clicking on play. So with this we now have two different instances already. We have one that's purely vanilla and one that's for Forge. When we click play on the Forge instance, it's going to go ahead and log in. It's going to apply the Forge install and all that good stuff. Now we can see here that we have MCP, FML, and Minecraft Forge installed. And currently, there's just a few mods that are come along with Forge. Perfect. At this point, you've already seen everything that's in this video probably, but let me show you now how to have separate instances for the mods. What I'm going to do is go ahead and launch Minecraft once more. And instead of going ahead and using the Forge instance, I'm going to click New Profile. Now we can create a copy of the Forge profile somewhere else. I'm going to place it in this folder right here, on my desktop, in the Minecraft Instances folder that I've been demonstrating so far. I can choose which directory to store this in by choosing the Game Directory. Instead of having it in the .minecraft folder by default, I'm going to go ahead and place it in that Minecraft Instances, and we'll call it Instance 1. Okay. You can have all kinds of other settings in here. And you can also choose your version of Forge. Right now you can see we've got Forge version 9.10.1.859. You can also add in your JVM arguments down here to expand the perm size or how much memory is allocated to Minecraft. But for now, we won't get into anything too complicated. I'll simply click Save Profile. It's by the way called Copy of Forge. If you want to name it something else, for example, match it up with the name I gave it, Instance 1, we can hit Save Profile here, and you can see how easy it was to change that. I'm going to go ahead and click Play on Instance 1. Let's see what happens. Note that it created that Instance 1 folder in that folder that I told it to. Perfect. In there, it's got a couple things that we can set up. For example, it created the Config, Mods, Resource Packs, Saves, and Stats folder. Anything we do in this instance will be saved in this folder. So we can install mods here, and we can install config files for mods. We can even install resource packs and create saved worlds in this instance. And it won't affect the original .minecraft instance up here. Let's demonstrate this by creating a single player world. Note how the world is created in this saves folder in the instance1 folder. There is new world with all the information. However, if we look at our original .minecraft folder, we'll see that the saves folder is empty. Interesting. Now let's go ahead and save and quit out of Minecraft. And launch it one more time. 
But before I launch it, I'm going to go ahead and get ComputerCraft. And I'm going to copy this to my Instance 1 folder into the Mods folder. And then launch Minecraft. Now when I click Play, we should have ComputerCraft installed. If we look at our mods list, we'll see that ComputerCraft is right there. I'm going to go ahead and create a second instance by clicking on my Forge instance originally and click New Profile. And I'm going to call this Instance 2. My game directory will again be my desktop folder right here, Minecraft Instances, but I'll call it Instance 2 and click Save Profile. Now I've got a second instance ready to go. The first time I launch it, it'll create that second instance folder. There it goes. It's got its own set of saves, resource packs, and mods. Note now on the mods list, ComputerCraft isn't here. If I want to switch back to Instance 1, I easily can, and click Play. Now looking at the mods list, we'll see ComputerCraft is once again there. You can install separate mods and separate config files. For example, if I wanted to grab BiblioCraft and Applied Energistics, I'll copy these into the Instance 2 folder under Mods. Now when I launch Instance 2 and click Play, we should see that Applied Energistics and BiblioCraft are installed, but ComputerCraft is not here. That's only installed in Instance 1. Note that we do not need to reinstall Minecraft Forge on any of these instances, because we've been copying the Forge instance all along. If you'd like to have multiple versions of Forge installed, for example, I originally installed version 8.5.9. Let's try installing version 8.7.0. Simply double click on it and click OK. When we launch Minecraft, see how we have multiple instances. Perhaps we want Instance 1 to run on version 8.7.0. Simply click Edit Profile and choose 8.7.0 from the drop-down list, and then click Play. We can see down here that we're indeed on Minecraft Forge version 8.7.0. However, Instance 2 is still listed on Minecraft ver Forge version 8.5.9. Clicking play on this, you'll see that this is on Minecraft Forge version 8.5.9. Remember, this is the one with Applied Energistics and BiblioCraft. So using the profile system in the vanilla Minecraft launcher is an easy way to keep multiple instances of Minecraft going all the time. It's probably a best practice or the recommended version is to create the Forge instance once but not put any mods in that one. Go ahead and just leave that one as is and then copy it every time you want to have a new instance and then install your mods in your different instances. Go ahead and place them in a folder where you'll remember they are. That way it's easy to modify your mods and configs and even different resource packs and different save files for your single player worlds. It'll also have its own individual multiplayer server lists and everything like that. Finally guys, I want to demonstrate one more function for you. It's the profile editor. This is where you go to edit your profile list. Simply click on the profile editor tab at the top here and you'll see the list of all the profiles that you've created so far. Instance 1 and 2 are listed here, along with their associated version of Forge that they're using and the username that they're associated with. Simply right-click on your instance, for example here Instance 1, and choose to delete it. Yes. 
Note now that instance 1 is no longer listed. It's important to note that it does not delete instance 1 from disk. I've already manually deleted instance 2 from my disk, so that's why it's not listed here, but instance 1 is not automatically deleted. You have to click delete on that and remove it yourself. However, all this profile editor is doing is removing the profile from the drop-down list. If I want to get rid of instance 2, since I've already deleted the folder, I can delete that profile as well, and it's again no longer listed. And with that guys, this is Direwolf20 signing off on the tutorial for going ahead and setting up multiple instances with the vanilla Minecraft launcher. This is the launcher straight from Mojang. There's no modifications to it. It's perfect for using it with multiple different instances. Hope you guys found this information informative. This is Direwolf20. Take it easy.